What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the lock screen of your iPhone 14 Pro, Pro Max or any iPhone you got for better productivity. So here we go. Now iPhone provides the option to customize the lock screen and create multiple lock screen as well with your own settings, widgets and characteristics. By default this is the lock screen you will get on your iPhone but if you want to customize the existing lock screen or you want to create a new one, the process is pretty easy. All you have to do is press and hold on the lock screen and then it will give you the option to customize it or add a new one. So here you can see that. I have added my personal lock screen here and there is the option to add another one. So all you have to do is either tap on this plus icon to add a new lock screen or you can go to the end by swiping on the screen and then just tap on this. Once you tap on this, you will get the option first to select the wallpaper. So you can see at the top you got this row that lets you go to a particular kind of wallpaper like the photo shuffle, emoji or the weather astronomy and you will get the same ones here if you swipe it down as well so what we got is the same weather and astronomy photo shuffle we got the emoji collection and the color just like here at the top row so depending on your preference you can go either way some of these come with your own features for example if you select the weather and astronomy of course you will get the weather and astronomy information you can select either BLM or the uh, LGBTQ wallpapers as well. You can select emojis, the default iOS collection wallpapers, and then you can select a solid color as well. So let's say I'm going to select uh, this picture that I have captured. So once I select it, you can see that once again, I'm getting the option to customize it. So at the top, there is the option for the date and time. If I just tap on it, it will give me the suggestion that what I can put on this particular widget. If I'm selecting the calendar, I can even select different kinds of calendar. As you can see here, I can select fitness information or I can select the reminder, stock information or the weather. I can select the city, UV index, time. It's totally up to you what kind of widget you would like at this particular top widget let's say i'm gonna select the calendar itself as it was in the beginning then if i tap on this time here then i can adjust the font and color of this particular widget here so you can see i can customize it and it's changing right here in front of you i can even select how solid i want the color so this is how you can change the color and font of the time widget and then if i go back from here you can see that it is asking me that i have another option for widget if i just tap on this here you will get the full list of all of the widgets so you can get something from the recommendation as you can see the uh, offline google chrome dino game we got some from the chrome health maps etc or you can go down and select the widget from any of these apps and categories. So for example, if I'm tapping on batteries, so I can select this battery widget that will show the battery percentage of my device at the lock screen itself. I don't need to unlock my device. I can directly do that. Or if I want, I can go to the clock. Then I will get the option to select different kind of clock and it explains what kind of information you are going to get or I can select fitness then once again I will get this famous Apple rings for the fitness at my lock screen if I select health then it can show me the timing and schedules for my medication and then you can put reminder you can put weather then once again you will get different kinds of widget related to weather that you can select so let's say I'm gonna select the this one and here it is added as you can see I can select another one as well so let's say if I go back from here then I am going to select the calendar and here we go so now you can see that the widgets are added on my newly created lock screen and I can even put filter just by swiping on this picture here we got three different filters 
first one is of course the original one then we've got black and white duotone and the color wash depending on your preference you can select any of these and if you want to crop the picture for the wallpaper then you can even do that just by pinching zoom in zoom out simple process and then if you tap on these three dots it will give you the option to see this picture in the photo library itself and if you tap on this option it will give you the option to select any other picture for example if you are not happy with that one then you can just tap on this and the picture will be changed and once again you can do all of the customization and once again you can zoom in zoom out to exactly fit the picture for your preference as you can see once you are done playing with all of the widget setting etc then you can just tap on this add button here and the lock screen will be created now it will ask you whether to use the same lock screen picture for the wallpaper as well so you can just tap on set as wallpaper pair or you can tap on customize home screen and then it will give you the option to either pair or just use the same color accent or change the gradient and you can also select the level of blur for the wallpaper that you are using on your lock screen once you are done with that you can just tap on done and then your lock screen is created if you tap on this this is the lock screen and if you want to add more lock screen then you just need to tap and hold on the lock screen and then you can just tap on this add new button here you can do the same process if you want to make any changes you can go to the customization go to the lock screen and do whatever customization you want and if you want to switch between different lock screen then you can do the same just tap and hold on the lock screen and keep selecting the one you want so this is how you can create new lock screen and you can customize all of the widgets text fonts etc on your lock screen so that's all for now friends thanks for watching this video if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and i will see you guys next time in another video have a nice day